India has produced several influential entrepreneurs who have made a significant impact on the business world. A fundamental micro trait of an entrepreneur is curiosity. This characteristic sets successful entrepreneurs apart from other organizational leaders. It's their ability to remain curious that allows them to continuously seek new opportunities and explore different avenues. Without curiosity, entrepreneurs can't achieve their main objective, discovering new opportunities. It is influenced by the Big Five model. The Big Five personality traits, also known as the five-factor model, provide valuable insights for entrepreneurs. These traits describe broad dimensions of personality and can influence an individual's behavior, decision-making, and success in entrepreneurial endeavors. Let's explore each of the Big Five traits and their relevance for entrepreneurs. Openness to experience is a trait that reflects an individual's preference for novelty, creativity, and intellectual curiosity. Those who score high on this trait are the dreamers, the innovators, and the adventurers of our world. They are imaginative, open-minded, and always eager to explore new ideas and possibilities. For them, life is an endless canvas of opportunities waiting to be painted with the colors of creativity and new experiences. Now, let's consider the relevance of this trait for entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurship, by its very nature, demands a high degree of openness. The journey of an entrepreneur is often unpredictable, marked by constant changes and challenges that require innovative solutions. Entrepreneurs with high openness are the ones who thrive in this dynamic environment. They are the ones who embrace innovation, adapting swiftly to changing landscapes and seeking out unconventional solutions that others might overlook. These entrepreneurs do not shy away from exploring new opportunities. They experiment with different approaches and are always open to learning from diverse sources. This openness fuels their ability to think outside the box and come up with groundbreaking ideas that can revolutionize industries. Take, for instance, the story of Praying Ganpati, the visionary behind Dosa Plaza. Prem's journey is a testament to the power of openness to experience. Starting from humble beginnings, he was not afraid to explore the uncharted waters of entrepreneurship. He embraced innovation, introducing a variety of dosas that fuse traditional South Indian cuisine with international flavors. His willingness to experiment and learn from different culinary traditions has made Dosa Plaza a global brand today. Praying Ganpati's success story highlights how openness to experience can propel entrepreneurs to remarkable heights. By remaining open to new ideas and approaches, entrepreneurs can navigate the complexities of the business world, turning challenges into opportunities for growth and innovation. Second, we have conscientiousness. This trait refers to self-discipline, organization, and goal-oriented behavior. Individuals who score high in conscientiousness are reliable, diligent, and detail-oriented. They bring structure and order to their endeavors, ensuring that every task is meticulously planned and executed. Conscientious entrepreneurs excel in managing their time effectively, maintaining quality standards, and meeting deadlines with precision. Take, for example, Sachin Bansal, the co-founder of Flipkart. His conscientious approach was instrumental in transforming Flipkart from a small online bookstore into one of India's largest e-commerce platforms. Sachin's dedication to meticulous planning, disciplined execution, and unwavering focus on business goals enabled Flipkart to achieve remarkable growth and success. The key difference between entrepreneurs and intrapreneurs is where they innovate. Entrepreneurs strike out on their own. They create entirely new businesses, bringing fresh ideas and products to the market. They shoulder all the risks and reap all the rewards, if any, of their venture. Intrapreneurs innovate within an existing company. They use their entrepreneurial spirit to develop new products, services, or processes within an established organization. They have access to company resources and a lower risk profile, but their success is tied to the company's goals. Moving on, we have agreeableness. This trait reflects an individual's interpersonal style, empathy, 
and cooperativeness. Highly agreeable individuals are compassionate, trusting, and considerate. In the entrepreneurial realm, they foster positive relationships with customers, partners, and employees, prioritizing collaboration, teamwork, and ethical behavior. Consider Bhavesh Agarwal, the founder of Ola. His agreeable nature has helped him build a company culture rooted in trust, empathy, and cooperation. Bhavesh's ability to connect with his team and understand the needs of his customers has been pivotal in Ola's journey to becoming a leading ride-sharing platform in India. His focus on collaboration and ethical business practices has contributed significantly to the company's long-term success. Finally, we address neuroticism. Neuroticism relates to emotional stability, anxiety, and reactivity to stress. High neuroticism individuals experience more negative emotions and mood swings. While low neuroticism is generally more desirable for entrepreneurs, a moderate level of neuroticism can drive motivation and resilience. Azim Premji, the renowned leader of Wipro, showcases how managing neuroticism can lead to success. Despite the challenges and pressures of leading a global IT company, Azim has maintained emotional balance and resilience. His ability to manage stress and cope with setbacks has been crucial in navigating Wipro through various phases of growth and transformation. In conclusion, the journey of an entrepreneur is shaped by a unique blend of qualities. Conscientiousness brings discipline and organization, extraversion fuels networking and leadership, agreeableness fosters positive relationships and collaboration, and neuroticism, when managed well, drives resilience and motivation. Each of these traits contributes to the rich tapestry of entrepreneurial success, guiding individuals like Sachin Bansal, Anand Mahindra, Bhavesh Agarwal, and Azim Premji to achieve greatness in their respective fields. The image you see here outlines the entrepreneurial model, which breaks down the Big Five model and laid the key qualities that define an entrepreneur in Indian style. Great Person Model This model focuses on the personal drive and achievements of the entrepreneur. It highlights the importance of having strong principles and a history of accomplishment. Psychological Model This model emphasizes the psychological attributes that make someone successful in business. It highlights the entrepreneur's need for achievement, tolerance for ambiguity, and internal locus of control. Classical Model this model focuses on the decision-making capabilities and risk tolerance of the entrepreneur. It emphasizes their ability to identify and seize opportunities for innovation. Management model. This model highlights the importance of the entrepreneur's ability to translate ideas into action. It emphasizes their expertise, planning capabilities, and communication skills. Leadership model. This model focuses on the entrepreneur's ability to inspire and lead others. It highlights the importance of having strong values and the ability to manage and motivate people. Intrapreneurship model. This model focuses on the ability to foster innovation within an existing organization. It highlights the entrepreneur's decision-making skills and their ability to navigate change. In conclusion, entrepreneurs are driven, ambitious, and poses a unique set of skills and personality traits that allow them to take ideas and turn them into successful businesses. Learn from the journey of a remarkable entrepreneur who has not only navigated the complexities of the business world but has also redefined the landscape of mobile advertising on a global scale. Allow me to introduce Navin Kevri, an alumnus of IIT Kanpur and Harvard Business School, whose name resonates profoundly within India's startup ecosystem. 
Navin Gavri's entrepreneurial journey is a testament to resilience, innovation, and an unwavering commitment to excellence. His startup, InMobile, holds the distinction of being India's first unicorn, a milestone that underscores its significant impact and recognition both within the country and internationally. InMobile has not merely participated in the market, it has disrupted it, particularly in the realm of mobile advertising. Under Naveen's visionary leadership, InMobile has pioneered advancements in marketing, artificial intelligence, AI, and media, setting new benchmarks for what technology can achieve. The company's trajectory reached a pivotal moment when Japan's SoftBank invested a staggering $200 million, a move that not only validated InMobile's potential but also spotlighted the growing influence of Indian startups on the global stage. However, the path to success was fraught with challenges. Naveen's ability to overcome the obstacles inherent in the Big Five personality traits, I wish to share the learning from the theories of Big Five model and Indian style of entrepreneurs. I want to share a tale of transformation and aspiration, where the journey from being a manager to becoming an entrepreneur, and from being an intrapreneur to embracing full entrepreneurship, illustrates the remarkable evolution of professional identity and ambition. Imagine a diligent manager, someone who has spent years honing their skills in the corporate world. This manager is adept at navigating company policies, leading teams, and ensuring that organizational goals are met. They are the backbone of their department, an essential cog in the corporate machine. But deep within, there resides a spark, a yearning to create something of their own, to break free from the constraints of corporate life and build a venture that reflects their vision and passion. This spark ignites a journey of transformation. The manager begins to explore the world of entrepreneurship. They start by identifying gaps in the market, conducting research, and drafting business plans. The leap is daunting, filled with uncertainties and risks. However, armed with their corporate experience and a newfound entrepreneurial spirit, they dive in. The manager becomes an entrepreneur, embracing the freedom to innovate, the responsibility of ownership, and the thrill of creating something from the ground up. It's a journey from stability to adventure, from following a path to forging a new one. Parallel to this story is another path, the journey of an intrapreneur to an entrepreneur. An intrapreneur is a trailblazer within an organization, someone who acts like an entrepreneur while working inside a company. They innovate, challenge the status quo, and drive projects that bring significant value to their employer. This role allows them to experiment and take risks without bearing the full brunt of the consequences giving them a taste of entrepreneurial excitement within the safety of a corporate environment. However, for some intrapreneurs, this taste is merely an appetizer for something greater. The desire to own their success, to steer their ship without any external anchors, grows stronger. They decide to take their ideas and venture into the entrepreneurial world. The intrapreneur's experience in innovating within a structured environment becomes a powerful asset. They are accustomed to overcoming obstacles, managing resources creatively, and leading with vision. Transitioning to an entrepreneur, they now face the ultimate test of their skills and resilience. Both narratives, of the manager and the intrapreneur, highlight a profound metamorphosis. They reflect the courage to step out of comfort zones, the passion to pursue dreams, and the resilience to overcome challenges. The journey from managing to creating, from innovating within to innovating beyond, is one of empowerment and self-discovery. It is a testament to the boundless potential within each of us to redefine our professional paths and to create lasting impact in the world. Entrepreneurs build and risk, managers maintain and optimize. Entrepreneurs start new businesses and take financial risks to make them thrive. Managers oversee established businesses, focusing on efficiently running day-to-day -day operations. The key difference between entrepreneurs and intrapreneurs is where they innovate. Entrepreneurs strike out on their own. They create entirely new businesses, bringing fresh ideas and products to the market. They shoulder all the risks and reap all the rewards, if any, 
of their venture. Intrapreneurs innovate within an existing company. They use their entrepreneurial spirit to develop new products, services, or processes within an established organization. They have access to company resources and a lower risk profile, but their success is tied to the company's goals. When you reach an obstacle, turn it into an opportunity. You have the choice. You can overcome and be a winner, or you can allow it to overcome you and be a loser. The choice is yours and yours alone.